everybody in this episode we're going to change the color of the background we're going to change the color of the headers um let's get started first thing i want to share with you if i have not already is this website w3schools.com it is a huge website with tons of great information for coding and let's scroll on down to where it says oh no let's learn html and let's scroll on down um we want to find colors html colors and there's all kinds of different ways you can you can change the colors so there's naming um there is rgb um, for red green and blue light sources there's hex and there is hsl for hue saturation and lightness so all of them work fairly the same way uh, i'm going to jump over to color first we're definitely not using dodger blue okay let's go over here um let's start by changing this hello world and class and my favorites are so we're changing the headers we're going to jump in here um, and we are going to after this curly bracket here uh, we might need to hit enter i'm going to type h1 oh and i forgot to open curly bracket and we want to type the word color and um i'm just going to type the word blue okay so that's one way to do it and if i refresh you can see that hello world or h1 our first header is just that another way we can do that is we can type rgb and when we're here looking at the color combinations uh, bright blue is 0025 now you can totally play with this and get a color that you like and it'll tell you the exact numbers to type in i'm just going to use this 00255 I'm going to click over here. I'm going to delete the word red. I'm going to type zero. And let's delete the word green. And 255. And when I hit refresh, you're not going to see a change, but well, maybe it changed slightly to a different blue so that's how you do there now if i wanted to change the other header which you've got to look back and you've got to notice that all right i do i do not have any h2s but i've got a couple h3s so header size threes so i can go back here into the style um i can highlight this copy and I can paste it and I can just, let's say I want to change this to uh, red. So 255.00. So I'm just going to change this color to 255.00. And then I'm going to change this last one to zero. And I'll hit refresh. Whoa. I forgot to change this to three. So now header one is going to stay blue and header three is going to change to red. There we go. Boom, boom. Okay. We've changed some colors. You can change the colors, whatever you want that you think looks good. All right. Uh, now we're going to, we're going to change the background color. So we're going to go right up here to font size. We're going to hit enter and we're going to type background. I'm going to scroll on down color. You can click on that or you can hit the down arrow and select it. Uh, let's say you don't like somebody. So you're going to type yellow and you're saying, well, why don't I like yellow? I like yellow, color of the sun. So when you refresh this, oh, that is really, really bright. So don't make your background yellow. I'm just going to delete that now because that's, 
that's just that's just being mean. Let's scroll on down here. Let's take like one of these grays. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna type RGB and I'm gonna type 200. I'm gonna hit my tab key on my keyboard, jump right over, and I'm gonna hit 200, 200, 200. That's how I can uh, jump to those things by using the tab key more often. I'm going to refresh that, and you can see we've got a better looking uh, color combination on those. Now it's your turn. Feel free to make this a color combination that you like um, with more images, maybe even some more text. And make sure that when you're done, you click on this, you copy this link, and you turn it in. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see what you've done.